My name is John Conrad, commander of the 33rd Battalion, husband of Elizabeth, and father of Jeremy. If you are reading this, the desertion of the 33rd is undoubtedly no longer a secret. I have failed my mission. Worse, I have failed my men. If any of them be found alive, let it be known that they are innocent. As their commander, I forced them under extreme duress to stay in Dubai. To disregard their orders, I alone am to blame. are up. Thank God, this is the last one. Whoa! The wind shear. No problem, huh? I don't know. Nador and Tass weren't great. Think we should have waited? No chance. These people are paying four times norm to get out quick. If they ask for a refund, it'd be our asses. Holy shit! Is that sand? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Storm on our six. I've never seen one that big! Expedite climb. Pull up, Barry. Pull up. <laughs> Shit. The engines are choked. We gotta find out. The engine one's gone. Fuck. Check the engine two. Check. Ah, the paradise of the rich. Dubai. In all my days, I've never seen such a beautiful pile of junk. Murdoch's boys are running scared, but I'm in for the long haul, baby. The Gathering Storm, an exclusive eyewitness account of the fall of Dubai. Damn if that title ain't what Pulitzers are made of. Which reminds me, ah, oh, shit, I need to dig up something nice for the Colonel. A little thank you for letting me tag along. Well, now if I can just grab some Sandstorm B-roll. Any minute now. Any minute now. Fuck, this is boring. Come on, give me something. Okay, people, places. Prompter ready? Huh? Toady? What the hell is this? What's what? The prompter says we're telling people to stay home and wait for the evacuation force. Where we get that? I haven't seen anything about an evacuation force come down from the wire. Just read it and smile. That's what we pay you for. Tony, this isn't ethical. I'm a journalist. Viewers, trust me to... You're a pair of tents that can read a teleprompter. You do the story, or I get someone else who will. Now we're on in five, four, three, You are a fucking asshole, two, Tony. One. In old horror movies, they always use silver to kill the monster. Stakes, crosses, bullets, didn't matter. So long as it was silver. In Dubai, these hostels are using silver bullets to kill soldiers. Guess that makes us monsters. Seems they're melting down everything they can get their hands on. Cufflinks, jewelry, flatware. Reeks of desperation, but it's smart. In Dubai, a bullet's worth more than a necklace. It's kind of funny when you think about it. At least a soldier's life doesn't come cheap. Found a doll in the OZ. No way it's left over from the old days. Diamond earrings for eyes, silk for a dress. This was made after the storm wall fell. That means children, families. I'm starting to wonder about our enemy. We're not that far from Conrad's failed evac. Could these be the survivors? Are we killing the people we came here to save? I'm not going to tell Adams or Lugo. 
Shit's hot enough as it is. They don't need this weight on them, too. Anyone shooting at us is an enemy. Whether they got families or not. As originally reported upon first arrival, situation in Dubai dismal. That's an understatement. Civilians have turned into vultures. Stealing, rioting. Hell, I saw a man gun it over a can of soda. It's a mess here. Soldiers trying to keep martial law, only making it worse. No way to radio HQ from inside the storm wall. Agent Daniels has left the OZ to report our findings and receive further instructions. Langley's not going to like what we have to say. Got a feeling they'll return the favor. CIA Op Squad, codename Gray Fox. Known members include Thomas Daniels, Brian Castevan, Jeff Riggs, and Rick Gould. Interrogation of Daniels has revealed CIA to be responsible for attacks on our outposts throughout the city. CIA attacks have been aided by members of local populace, heretofore referred to as insurgents. Insurgents believed to be operating directly outside our territory. Daniel's questioning has revealed possible location of stronghold. Raid has been scheduled with intent to neutralize CIA threat and establish order in the area. If all else fails, recommend use of Daniel's to lure other CIA members into the open. Any idea who I am? Let him go, Nabil. That's right. Hands off the goods. You have 30 seconds. Tell me what you want. What I want? <laughs> what I want is you, man, on record, telling me about the genocide you and your friends are trying to keep hidden from the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah. Magnus! You have no idea what you are saying. Get him out of here! Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what I know. I know the truth, man, and the truth is where it's at. I know every expat and fat cat Emirati hightailed it out of Dubai on permanent vacation two days before your office shit-canned a news piece about the storm. <laughs> yeah, and I know your wife and kids left this morning, and I know your mistress is leaving town tonight. What a chup, Sala. You know nothing of Dubai, my friend. If you did, you would know the truth is whatever we wish it to be. Any evidence you find to the contrary will never change that. Get out of my office. You can't hide the truth, man! Uh. Thought I'd make it the whole way without screaming. Hacked my way through the sandboarding. Even bit my tongue when they brought out the knives. But the fire... Damn it. I screamed like you wouldn't believe. I'm disappointed. But at least now I understand the breaking. Once my flesh started melting, I'd have thrown my own mother under a bus just to make it stop. Every insurgent brought before me will know the same pain. And when they break, we will be like brothers, having stared down death and flinched. It's wrong to call it a storm. I've never seen a storm that could blast paint off a car. This is sand, flying through the air at 80 miles an hour. It will shatter glass, tear your flesh, and fill your lungs. Even those of us still alive have been stripped down to our bones. We got nothing but the clothes on our back, man. What water's left, the 33rd has under lock and key. A couple civilians tried to stage a raid on the cantina last night. And the colonel had him round up and shot. I tried to make myself watch, but I couldn't. They were desperate to live, man. But if they'd succeeded, others would have died. I mean, I don't know what it feels like to execute people you swore to protect. But Conrad sure does. And he's not talking to anyone at the moment.
Go ahead and just say your name into the recorder. Uh, Pete Goby, Private First Class. Thanks, Pete. So the question everyone back home wants to ask is, why? The Red Cross, the Pentagon, even the President have all turned tail and run. Why stay here? See, I joined up out of high school. I didn't want to go to war or anything, but then I got tossed in with the 33rd and ended up doing two tours in Afghanistan. Disaster by anyone's standards. Yeah, no shit. I can't tell you how many times we rolled past kids fighting over garbage on our way to some bullshit op. So when the colonel saw a chance to actually do some good here, hell yeah, he took it. What about the people back home? Calling you deserters? Traitors? Man, fuck them. I'd love to go home, you know? I got a daughter I ain't seen since last Christmas. But my baby girl, she's safe in her bed right now. These people here, they ain't so lucky. What, I'm supposed to abandon them just because I get homesick? Nah, we're better than that. So you trust the colonel's decision? 110%. Colonel's a great man. Standing by his side makes me a traitor, and so be it.